Hello friends, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Vicki and you're with Rami in the Kitchen. Today I decided I was going to make some hamburger buns. I'll put the video right up here. Maybe it's over here. I think it's over here. I'll put the video right over here for my hamburger bun recipe that I made last time. But since I had everything out to make the hamburger buns, I decided I want to go ahead and make some cinnamon rolls. So I have a recipe right here in front of me. I am going to triple this recipe because, because I want to have cinnamon rolls today and I want to put two of them in the freezer. So I'm going to let them do their first rice and then when we put the cinnamon brown sugar mixture on it, I'm going to go ahead and put those in a pan and freeze those. So on the second rise, when I take them out of the freezer, they'll do their second rise as they are thawing and I can cook them from there. So if this is something you're interested in, please stick around. While you're at it, go ahead and get this video a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you part of the gravy family. So without further ado, aprons on, let's make some delicious cinnamon rolls for today and for other days. So we are tripling this recipe. So we're going to start off blooming the yeast so in the mixer I have four cups of water which is a quart plus a half a cup the sugar I have one cup the yeast I have a quarter of a cup plus one and a half teaspoons. We're going to give that a mix so the yeast blooms. Now we're just going to see if this mixer can actually handle three batches of cinnamon rolls. We're going to put it at its test today. Now you want the butter melted, but you don't want it hot because it will kill the yeast. So right here I have 13 and a half cups of flour with one tablespoon of salt. And now we're going to go ahead and add our flour with the salt that's in here. We put the salt in with the flour and we're going to add this very, very slowly. We're going to move over to the island and start kneading this by hand. Alrighty, this is going to be a very, very sticky dough, but we're going to do this. Put the flour down on our countertop right here. Always make sure you start off with clean hands and a clean countertop. Some bits and pieces in the bottom here that need to knead in. I think we put that mixture to the test today and it failed on three batches. But it's okay, we cut this and not go to waste. So we're going to knead this 
Then we're going to divide it into three separate bowls to do its first rise so we can have three pans of cinnamon rolls. Just using the bowl scraper as a bench scraper, picking up all the bits and pieces as it's sticking to the countertop here. Oh, this is so pretty. Alright, we almost got everything incorporated. I think that's going to be okay. All right, let's see if we can divide this into thirds. I'm not even going to worry about weighing it to get a perfect measurements, but you can if you want to. I'm just going to eyeball it and I think we did okay right here. All right, so I'm just going to sit here and knead each one of these individually. I'm using the bench scraper right here to help me Pull it from the countertop and rolling it into itself. So I have one bowl, putting a little olive oil in it, the mixing bowl, another bit of olive oil, and then I have a third bowl. Swish and turn. All right, let's get this one cohesive. Get all those dry bits that are in that moved around. Again, using the bench scraper to move it around. them with saran wrap. And we're going to leave it here until they double in size. And Alright, so I have a half a cup of butter that I melted. In this bowl I have one and a half cups of brown sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. Just going to whisk that together. Add our butter to the brown sugar cinnamon mix. And there should be enough here to do all three of these recipes. 
We're just going to set that aside for right now. I have two glass pie pans. And I have one aluminum. We're going to use all three of these. First we're going to start off with a little bit of butter so we can butter our pans. Like I said, we're doing three of these recipes. Two are going to go in the freezer, one we're going to eat today. So this is one of our bowls. And we have some beautiful dough in. it out very large square Third of our mixture on here. We're going to leave about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch right here on this edge. So we can have something to seal it with when we close this up. Oh, that looks beautiful. Get all the gunk off my hands. We don't want to waste none of that deliciousness. Let me go wash my hands. Now this is the side we left with none of no filling on it that's the side we're going to end with so we're going to start on the side that's closest to us got a bench scraper here to help me lift it up because it is sticking just a tad bit and we're going to roll this up I didn't want to put flour down because I didn't want to put flour on the dough because I didn't want to interfere with the stickiness so the dough could actually stick with itself. We're just slowly going back and forth. Okay. On the side that doesn't have the mixture on, we're going to pick it up and pull it and wrap it over. Alright, and that is our cinnamon roll. We should be able to get 12 out of here, so I'm going to cut it in half. And then each of these fours I'm going to cut into threes and just go ahead and get them in my pan.
cover this up and let it do a second rise. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. So I decided I needed to go ahead and make four pans. So I am going to take the two that are stuck over here on the side out of this pan and put it in here. So I have one in the freezer already. This is the one we're going to cook today. The one in the freezer plus these two will go in the freezer have the oven heating up to 350 degrees this is this is 10 cinnamon rolls took two from here and added it to a third pan combined all three of the cinnamon rolls for the third pan and I have those in the freezer to freeze those once they're frozen I'll wrap them up in saran wrap but in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven I'm thinking about 20 to 30 minutes, but I will let you know. The oven's heating up, and we're going to go ahead and put these in. So I put them in the oven for 20 minutes, and then I did an additional 10 minutes, and it ended up taking an additional 7 minutes. So it took exactly 37 minutes. So I'm going to let these cool off a bit, and then we're going to make a delicious powdered sugar glaze to go on this but tell me if that doesn't look beautiful just look at that it's just oh you cannot get this out of a can you cannot get anything close to this deliciousness out of a pre-made can of cinnamon rolls holy moly this looks delicious our cinnamon rolls have cooled off. They're still warm, but they're not hot to the touch. Now we're going to make a powdered sugar glaze. So I have some powdered sugar here. Got a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar. We're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. teaspoon of milk. This is cashew milk. We use any milk of your choice. So we're going to stir that in to get rid of all the clumps from that powdered sugar. Just keep stirring it. Now we're just going to drizzle that on top. cinnamon rolls. Yummy! Let's go ahead and taste this. Can you see how high that is? Oh, this is good. I am so glad I got this in the freezer. This is delicious. Hope you try this recipe. Like I have said before, you don't need to spend a whole day in your kitchen making only freezer meals. Just take what you're making, as for the cinnamon rolls, double, triple the batch, and put them in casserole dishes, even in a aluminum foil pan. Wrap them up, stick them in your freezer. I'll take these out the night before I want to cook them, put them in the refrigerator, and the next day I'll put them on the counter until they double in size because it's only got the first rise. I'll do the second rise when they thaw. Since I decided we were having hamburgers today, I decided to just make extras so I can have ready to go hamburger buns in the freezer. And we're actually planning on going to North Carolina this weekend 
to visit my son, his family, my daughter, and her husband this weekend. And I got a request to make extra hamburger buns so we can have hamburgers cooked on the grill while we're there. So now I got to cook more. But these are going to go in the freezer for myself along with these cinnamon rolls. So I just want to say thank you very much for spending the day with me while we made cinnamon rolls and extras for the freezer. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you don't mind go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you part of the Grammy family. So until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Bye friends.